When we have a line and ask to draw its projection, it is very important to first imagine its correct orientation with respect to the principal planes that is horizontal plane and vertical plane. This video will help you to imagine the correct orientation and explains the rotating line method to find true length and angle of inclinations with principal planes. Here we have two lines, one is parallel to vertical plane but inclined with horizontal plane and the red one is inclined with both the planes that is horizontal plane and vertical plane. Always remember that the length of projection of a line on a principal plane will have same length as that of the line only when the line is parallel to that principal plane. Any inclination of the line with the principal plane will result in reduction of the length of the projection of the line on that principal plane. For example, in this figure, you can see two lines, the yellow line that is line AB is parallel to vertical plane and inclined to horizontal plane at an angle 30 degree. The red line that is AC is inclined with both vertical plane and horizontal plane at an angle of 30 degree. So phi is the angle of inclination with vertical plane and theta is the angle of inclination with horizontal plane. It can be seen that the length of projection of yellow line that is A dash B dash that is the front view of the line is having the same length as that of the line itself that is true length of the line when the same length line that is AC so we know that AB is equal to AC the length of the both the lines is equal so when the same length line is inclined to VP also so that means it is inclined to both VP and horizontal plane gets its front view shortened so you can see that AC dash AC dash is smaller than A dash B dash Hence the length of its front view will not tell us the true length of that line. Let's see these line from the front side and get a clear idea of front view. Here one more thing can be observed that the front view of the line will provide angle of inclination with horizontal plane only when the line is parallel to VP. Both red and yellow lines are equally inclined with horizontal plane. You can see the front view of the yellow line is inclined with XY line at the same angle as the line makes with horizontal plane that is theta. The apparent angle of red line with the horizontal plane seems to be so this angle that is this is the apparent angle seems to be larger than the true angle of inclination so it is it seems to be larger so now let's see the line from the top and get an idea from the top side top view from this view it can be seen that top view of the projection of lines on horizontal plane are of same length for both the lines however none of them will be equal to true length of the line the length of projection are shorter than the true length also the projection of line ac doesn't give true angle of inclination with vertical plane that is phi it appears larger than phi 
So, this angle appears larger than phi because the red line is also uh, inclined with the horizontal plane. So, when the line is inclined with both the planes, uh, then its apparent angle is larger than its uh, true angle. Let us discuss the method of finding true length and angles of inclination when the line is inclined to both the principal planes. Here the line AC is inclined to horizontal plane 30 degree and with vertical plane 40 degree. If we rotate the line such that it becomes aligned with the yellow one that is the imaginary line. So, if I rotate it and brings it to the position of yellow line, it becomes aligned to yellow line that is parallel to vertical plane and inclined to horizontal plane. Then the projection of this reoriented line on the vertical plane will give me the value of true length and theta. Watch the animation and concentrate the path followed by the point C on horizontal plane. Projection of point C on horizontal plane follows an arc in the course of reorientation. Now watch the animation again and concentrate on the path followed by the projection of point C on vertical plane. The projection of point C that is C dash on VP follows a straight line parallel to XY line. So, XY line is this one intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane. It is because the height of point C with respect to horizontal plane is not changing. This reorientation of the line to make it parallel to vertical plane will help us to find the true length and theta only. If we want to find out phi also then this process has to be repeated for reorienting the line parallel to horizontal plane. Now let us do the standard rotation of horizontal plane to get our projections and process on 2D sheet. Here this line of intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane is represented as XY line. We name the projections on the vertical plane as A dash, C dash and on the horizontal plane as A, C. So when we reorient the line. So, this is the path that is followed by the point C and I name it as C1. So, the projections of point A are on the same line and if I take a straight line from this point C to the height of point C that is 
on the line that is parallel to xy line at point c dash so if i take this line straight upward so the intersection of these two lines will give me the location of c1 so this c1 dash so this a dash c1 dash will give me the true length so the measure of a dash c dash will give me true length of the line and the angle of inclination of this line this projection or i can say the projection of the reoriented line that is a dash c1 dash will give me the angle theta so hope you understand the process and can repeat it to find the angle phi thank you